Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be giving you an update on my kindergartner and my preschooler. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls who are in the sixth kindergarten and pre-K, and I am in my fourth year of homeschool, you guys. So in today's video, I am going to be updating you on my kindergartner and on my pre k -er and how school has been for them in our first six weeks. Um, I really separated out my first like homeschooling updates for you guys because a lot really has happened with all the kiddos and I really wanted to make these videos really really condensed and short but moving forward I definitely know I will be able to keep all of like my homeschooling updates in one video for all of the kiddos. So in starting off our homeschooling with my younger two they started off a week behind my sixth grader. I really got my oldest established in her routine before adding back in my younger two. I will definitely say they really wasn't ready to start back school when I added them back in. Um, however, when they got back into the flow and the rhythm of our schedule and routine, um, that was when we really began to make more progress within like our homeschool. So just a little recap for my kindergartner. We are using All About Reading Level 1 with her. And you guys, um, like I don't really know how to explain this or say this, but teaching a kid to read is a humbling experience. And I definitely will say um, that is my experience so far in teaching my middle daughter how to read. I definitely will say I know coming into phonics and phonics instructions with my middle daughter, I knew I had to take things slow because she is in speech therapy. She's still actually learning how to say certain sounds. So I know if she's still working on that enunciation of those individual isolated sounds, and trying to blend together, I definitely know it's going to be more of a task for this particular kiddo versus someone who doesn't have any type of speech delay. So I knew coming into All About Reading Level 1 that this year my goal is really just to finish half of this curriculum. And to really be honest, you guys, I came to a point in starting off our first six weeks of homeschool because I really felt like I wasn't making as much progress as I would have liked to make in this curriculum. I was thinking about switching and ditching all about reading, but I really had to come to and really realize that I don't think it's really about any particular curriculum for this kiddo. I think I'm just going to have to be patient and know that she is going to read. She is going to get it, and we just have to continuously take small bite-sized chunks. You guys, I absolutely love All About Reading. Again, we did the pre-reading program last year in her pre-K program. It really helped her with the syllables. It helped her with um, in those individual isolated sounds. It helped her with the rhyming. So I know the effectiveness of this program, and I definitely know I just have to continuously take a little stair steps. So in our All About Reading uh, program, we are only working in it for about 15 minutes and what I do every single day is I do like all of the fun games with the letter sounds I put the letter sounds out I have my little fly swat and she swats the letter sounds we go over like the little green review blending cards um, one thing that I absolutely love that I added into the all about reading program is I finally you guys purchased the all about reading the letter towels because I was so tired of like maneuvering all of like those little teeny pieces and uh, my younger one Alana kept on playing with them and they was just all over the place and it definitely wasn't working out for us so I put away the letter towels for now and we're using the app and my middle daughter she absolutely loves the app and even sometimes throughout the day like if it's lunchtime because I put the app on my telephone she asked me mommy can I do my letters and um, it's really really encouraging to know that a lot of times we were working on our blends two times a day which um, when we were actually working on our blends more than once a day I was finally able to see progress so right now we are actually in all about reading lesson number four we're going to be starting that off when we start our um, next six week term and you know did I want to make more progress? Absolutely. But am I happy that we made it through the first three lessons? Absolutely. Uh, my daughter even read her first story in the All About Reading book and she was very choppy, but we made it through the first story. And, you know, um, I was really proud when we finally hit like that little woo-ha moment of, you know, constantly opening up the book and her not really getting it, um, her forgetting some of her sounds and to finally at the end of our 
six week term, she read her first story out the All About Reading program. So I definitely will say a lot of the All About Reading success really is up to the kiddo. And I just have to continuously show up for my daughter. And I think that's what I'm going to remember when it comes to her phonics instructions, that it's not a direct um, indication of me as a teacher, but all I have to do is show up in her progress and her growth is all of her own. As long as I know in my heart, I'm doing my part. I'm reading over the lesson. I'm getting everything prepared. I'm following the script. I mean, that's all I really can do. And um, so far, so good. <laughs> I definitely will update you guys on reading when it comes to my struggling reader. Well, I, don't, I really don't know if I should say struggling reader. I should just say teaching reading with a kiddo with a speech delay. So that is our reading. Now, as far as our other curriculas that we've been using, we've been using Kindergarten Math with Confidence. We are going to be starting week 11 when we start our second six-week term. And I love this curriculum. It's been so much fun. I really have been enjoying the picture books and the enrichment exercises the most. Um, I like the warm-up exercises. This has really been fun and hands-on, especially for my busybody uh, kindergartner. Um, Leia, she's not one to sit still. And I love having these curriculas where I can just put the pieces on the floor. Uh, we don't actually have to like sit at our table right here. We can use our, our little nugget. Um, we're really able to do school like free flowing to really suit like her particular learning style. And this definitely is very hands on and so much fun. So I did a library pickup recently and I have the next books for the um, Kindergarten Math with Confidence. I'm going to share them with you guys. So the next book we're going to be reading is Actual Size. I have... Albert Keeps Score. I also have 10 Flashing Fireflies and Bird Song is the next books that I'm going to be using with the Kindergarten Math with Confidence. And when we do the picture books, my daughter likes for us to read the picture books all week long, which is so much fun. And it really ensures that I am getting in like that read aloud time with the kiddos because I'm going to be completely honest. Um, doing read aloud with the little ones, I am really struggling with trying to be consistent with that and finding the right time to do the read alouds. But the math picture books have been ensuring that um, right before uh, Leia leaves when I do like her time in our homeschool room together I absolutely read at least two picture books one math book and then the other one will be something fun or something that she's interested in off of our shelf so that's ensuring at least before she leaves um, we do have some one-on-one -on -one reading time even if we don't get to like some read aloud time together with her and my youngest uh, daughter so that is pretty much Leia's flow and these are the main two pieces of curricula we've been using of course we are still using uh what is this a uh, matthew c primer she loves the blocks you guys and this is really a fun supplement um i absolutely love both of these math curriculas we are actually on week 12 of matthew c primer so um we're just trucking along you guys in our curricula and i'm just trying my best just to be consistent with these kiddos and to continuously show up for them now for my youngest daughter, Alana, I made a few little pivots with her. Uh, first things first, you guys, um, we actually started off our homeschooling year with gentle and classical preschool with Alana. And I did gentle and classical preschool last year with Leia. So you guys, when I turned on like all of like the scripture memory verses and the Bible songs and things like that with Alana, I just thought that she didn't remember all of those since we just did it last year. But you guys, like both of the girls, they remember all of the memory verses, all of like the little uh, catechisms and the scriptures. And I kind of felt like very dumbfounded. So I'm like, why am I trying to repeat a program over again that we just completed and thinking that it was going to be something new? I definitely will say they love listening to the memory verses and the scripture reading. And they still love that book, Big Thoughts for uh, Tiny People or Big Thoughts for Little People book. They still love me reading that devotion to them every day. So um, I kind of ditched that program because I felt like, you know, it was it wasn't doing any of us justice to repeat it. So um, what I ended up doing for Alana instead, my youngest one, we are just continuing with uh, preschool math at home with her. And you guys, I love this program. She does too. It's so cute seeing her do like the little uh, fast fingers uh, that she's learning and she's learning how to um, count to 10 and identify objects to 10. And uh, we play tea party. It's so many fun little games in here. And Alana really loves when um, she switches off with Leia and it's her time to 
to come inside of the homeschool room with me. Another thing that I've been enjoying using with Alana has been uh, Get Ready for the Coat. And these are just some stickers that I use, you guys, when I'm doing Get Ready for the Coat with them. Because Alana is only three, she's not really writing when we're doing like each of the letter sounds. I just have her put a sticker on top of each one of the letters we're going over. And she really, really loves that. And she really um, is getting better as far as like her uh, hand grip when it comes to like coloring in the lines. And it's been so much fun doing just these two simple programs with Leia. I mean, not with Leia, with Alana, my three-year-old. And she's really been enjoying just doing these two simple things. And I really had to simplify things for them just to hit to the core. But I definitely will say, since we're not doing gentle and classical preschool, I really have been missing like that fun aspect in our homeschool that we did last year. So you guys, I pulled out my Old Faithful and we're gonna do a few units in here and um, I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, but we are going to be adding back in playing preschool. So for uh, Alana, instead of gentle and classical preschool, we're gonna be doing playing preschool. I miss all of these fun activities, you guys, that we did. Last year we did about, I think six or seven units. I sprinkled them in throughout our homeschooling year. And this uh, upcoming homeschool year, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna finish off the units that we didn't finish in playing in preschool this semester and if I really enjoy it next semester what I'll do is we will do playing preschool year two with Alana as well because it still has like a lot of fun concepts and preschooling type of things that I definitely know she will enjoy uh, for the years to come so we are going to start off in September with our community helpers unit and I thought that that would be a fun one to start off you know especially since you know September Labor Day it's like right before we hit into like like that fall season and doing like all the fall activities and pumpkin units and apples and all that type of stuff. I definitely wanted to do like another unit before getting into like those type of units with my younger two. So I have all of my books right here from my library. I'm going to share them with you that we're going to be using in the plan preschool for our community helpers unit. We're going to be reading helpers in your neighborhood. We're going to be reading The Helpers in Your Neighborhood. This is a Daniel Tiger one. I have The ABCs of What I Can Be. This sounds like a cute one, you guys. I have Tinyville Town. I have Jabari Tries. Now, this is not one of the books in the Playing Preschool, but since it's about a construction worker or Jabari trying out like construction and things like that, I wanted to pick this one up because I couldn't find any like particular books about construction workers. So I figured this would be a fun one, especially talking about like community helpers. I have um, I Want to Be a Vet. I have Who's, Whose Hat Is It? This one looks like a definitely cute one. I think they will love. And I have a whole bunch of these like Let's Meet. These are Cloverleaf books. So it's Let's Meet a Doctor. Let's Meet a Police Officer. Let's Meet a Teacher. Let's Meet a Dentist. Let's Meet a Firefighter and let's meet a librarian. So I have all of my books, you guys, ready to go for our uh, community helpers unit. And of course, Leia is going to join in with this unit. And I definitely think they'll have a whole bunch of fun. I love all the activities and the plan preschool that we're gonna get up to. Um, so that is like my plan of attack for my next six week term. All of the curricula that I showed you is all of the curricula that both of my uh, younger ones are going to be doing. And I'm really keeping things simple. We do do like our calendar time uh, still where I use our morning folder for and I use my Melissa and Duck calendar. But other than that, this is, these are the pieces of curricula I'm using. I really had to simplify and pare things down in our home, in our homeschool. I'm really finding that the simpler I am going with our pieces of curricula, the deeper that we are going and the more free time that the kiddos still have to do like that messy fun play. I definitely will say I did an awful job this quarter in like our messy art. I really was working with my younger two in establishing our routine and, and schedule and our rhythm. And I definitely need to like uh, move forward when it comes to like really all like that fun arts and crafts and things like that. And I definitely know the playing preschool will help me ensure that I do get like that messy fun art because that was 
like the most fun we had in our homeschool last a year when I really made it a priority to incorporate like that messy art even though you guys I really don't like it <laughs> but it's so beneficial to them um, I don't like the cleanup I should say but I do like the artwork and all the aftermath and things like that so so yeah um so you guys really this is my update for my kindergartner and my preschooler uh we're just going to continuously make small uh, stair steps and strides when it comes to leia and her reading uh we are going to continue with her speech therapy um and we're just going to do our best or i'm going to do my best i should say and i'm going to do my best to show up and have a positive attitude especially um when it comes to leia i don't want like my anxieties when it comes to like her reading and instruction to like spill over on her. I want her to know we're going to come to our homeschooling time. We're going to show up and we're going to have fun and we're just going to make little steady stair steps like progress and things like that. So you guys, this is my kindergartner and my pre-K update. I look forward to our next um, quarter and all the things that I have planned. And you guys, let me know down below, what are you getting up to with your smaller ones, with your kindergartners? Are they uh, in the schedule just yet? Do you still have them playing around until you get your older ones settled up in your homeschool? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.